Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello! And it is Friday. Happy Friday to everybody. It is the 9th of October, and we are now, I would say, officially a week into reading from the Patch Tarot deck, which is a tarot deck that's put out by the Spirit Science people and their awesome YouTube channel that has a lot of really interesting videos. Uh, I would say watch them with a very discerning mind because they are very interesting and they will make you think. So I just got these cards and we've only been reading from them since the beginning of the month and I'm super excited about them. They are still really slippery, which I will warn whoever gets them, uh, they are super slippery when you first get them, but they are a nice size and I really enjoy them. And I'm talking about them a little bit more because I realized during the week, I didn't say a whole lot about the cards themselves. I was just being very specific about, woo, the one card we were reading. But it seems to me the cards are at least ready for us to pick one for the weekend. So here we go. Without further ado, another card from the Patch Tarot deck. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So this is a really cool card, I think, for the weekend. It is the Hierophant, which it's kind of hard to see the name of the card on this one, but look at the colors. Again, I keep having this problem of where do I hold these cards so you can see, and maybe I should hold it on this side. Yeah, I think you can see it better on this side. Uh, I kind of changed my background a little bit, but so the Hierophant in this one is, wow, I would say this is the most vibrant event card I've ever seen. Uh, there's a lot going on in this card. So once again, I'm noticing a lot of pop culture references in these cards. And the one that I recognize today is from any of you who have seen the animated series, the Avatar Airbender series. I definitely am getting some Aang energy off of these arrows that are on the higher self behind the Hierophant who is reading the book. I'm sure there's like a zillion other pop culture references that I'm not getting, but that one sticks out to me. There's also a lot of religious references from multiple religious ideas. So what I really like about that is that this is not defining the Hierophant as a dogmatic teacher of any specific modality or religion. That's fascinating. That's interesting to me. So you have in the background the four colors of the elements and those are in the four quadrants. The character, obviously Aang, the Aang energy character is more kind of, I suppose, a bit Buddhist, maybe a bit Tibetan in origin. The crown is very uh, Far Eastern as well. You have the chakras surrounding this character. So you've got all the different chakras. You have, and, and clearly chakra stuff is going on straight down the middle too, because I see another kind of chakra-like symbol right there, which I'm not sure. Maybe that is just one more. I don't know. It's hard to see. There's a lot going on on this card. Also, you have the cross at the center being held by this higher self, this higher energy. The little character standing in front of the book is holding an ankh to her chest, or possibly the ankh is hanging around her neck. Um, there, no, it's, she's holding it. She's definitely holding it. And obviously, all of this interesting teachings, all of these things are all coming from the book that is glowing in front of this individual, in front of this little patch character. I am so impressed with how many different things are already represented in this. And we haven't even gotten into like the words that are on there or anything else. There is just so much already going on on this card. You've got, I would say at least three, if not five, maybe five, I'm gonna push, five different um, religious teachings or spiritual teachings, if you will, represented on here that I can count. And I'm not like the end all be all on this kind of stuff. 
but it is really cool that it's all coming out of this book that's in front of them, which is, again, it's teachings from the higher self, but it's also teachings from the world around us. And then putting those teachings into words so that the next generation can experience them. And that's very much what the Hierophant represents, is not just what the Hermit would represent, which is just strictly higher self-knowledge and looking within. This is balancing that world within with the world without and looking at everything with discernment and kind of that, um, I'm going to trust my conscience, I'm going to trust my gut, but also I'm going to read up on this because I feel like my spiritual teachings will also guide me. So all of those things. The little symbol in the bottom corner that is the Hebrew symbol is, I'm going to mispronounce it, and my friend Topaz is, has been like on my case about it, which is awesome, and I wish she would like correct me in the comments so that everybody can get it, because I mess up a lot on these. I'm going to pronounce it as Vav, V-A-V, and I'm not sure if that's right, but Vav, Vav. And it looks like a little, like, line with a crook at the top of it. Uh, Taurus is on the other side. At the top, we have spirituality is the upright, and intolerance is the inverted. Those two words are really interesting choices to me. Because while, yes, this is a card of spiritual knowledge, I don't know as I'd go so far as like it's one key word being spirituality because to me, and this is just me, spirituality is more along the lines of what we kind of crucible out of a spiritual teaching. This is more spiritual, I don't know, spiritual knowledge. Which I guess, if you want to pick one word for it, spirituality. Okay, I'll, I'll talk myself into it and hopefully talk you guys into it too. Intolerance, I do like as the word for this because when we get very dogmatic about our particular spiritual teaching or our particular religious writings, we do become very intolerant of others' teachings. And how, no, there's only one truth and it is mine. And we get very stuck on that. And I think that can be true with, with pretty much everything that is our, our philosophy in life or our, our political views, our culture, our, our, our religion isn't just that. It's kind of everything. When we get stuck in a dogma, when we get stuck in our own like sense of things, and we don't want to see outside our own kind of mirror, our own echo chamber, we become very intolerant. And that's what this kind of warns against in this card is if you draw this card and it's inverted, it's you, you might want to shake yourself up a little bit. You might want to see the world a bit through somebody else's eyes, walk a mile in someone else's shoes. So that's really interesting choice. I do like that word choice. The spirituality one, I think I've talked myself into it. What I love about this card as we go into the weekend is maybe this is a great weekend to, to take a moment and study something a little different, to look at the world a little differently. Go on a bit of an adventure, be that an adventure in words where you do pick up a book or a teaching from somewhere else. Or maybe it's a teaching in, in an adventure in, in a very real sense of go out there and experience someplace new. Go talk to somebody different about something. Take a class on something that maybe you've never thought of before. See the world a little differently. At least that's my take on it. But yours may be something totally different. I just love that this is our card that goes into the weekend. And... I think it's beautiful, and I also think it's a super bright card. Also, if you guys catch any other cultural references, pop culture references in this that I might be missing, uh, please let me know because I feel like they're this like Easter egg in every single one of these cards, and I'm super excited about it, but I'm also super ignorant about a lot of um, pop culture, and I'm learning, I'm trying, but with all the other things that I learn, it's 
it's difficult, you know, to know all the things. So if you know what's represented in here, please let me know. Uh, and that's the cultural in the more dynamic sense as well as the pop cultural. I, I'm super interested. So until next time, until Monday, have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you on Monday. Bye.